here in the calibration, we are not going to be using the bias because remember we made this master bias and dark. So we can just go in here, master dark and bias, select that. And we are also going to go and select our master flat that we created, put those in there. Now we can go and calibrate with these two settings on. So now that our frames have been calibrated, we're now ready to do the registration. And what the registration does is it compensates for, let's say that the image, there was a slight shift so that this star was over here in another image. It calculates that and it makes sure all the images are proper aligned on top of each other. Now you have a number of different options for what you can do for registration here. And to be honest, it's a bit of trial and error. I recommend you start with the one called global star alignment for the transformation. Basically, this is just how many degrees of freedom you want it to have. With shift, it just has two, so it just checks if the image is moved left to right, up and down. But we can start with the with homography here. So you can see here in my case, this actually went really well. I had 10 frames, we had zero failed and 10 that got registered. So that's great. That means all my frames got registered. If you're having issues, try to play around with it here in the registration. You can also try other methods in here. If you're shooting deep sky objects, of course, make sure you pick one for deep sky. If you're shooting planets, well, then you want to take the one that's for planetary or also called full disk. So basically pick one that kind of fits. 